Hey there. Today, as uh, per usual, when I get inspired and just hop in here kind of sporadically and alive, I'm coming with you in a conversation that it keeps coming up and my clients are asking me about and I'm talking about in webinars and my peers are talking about. So, hey, this group is probably wondering about it as well, even if you're not talking about it yet. I want to draw attention to a little case study and then we're gonna have a bigger conversation about how this relates to you today and how you can really stand apart in your niche. So the case study is actually back from 1962. I was not born then. However, this story is still really powerful. And like I said, we're gonna bring it back to why it's important to, to you and how we can use this parable. Because keep in mind, as much as we're obsessed with the digital age right now, we're in it, we're living it, we're creating it every single day, it's amazing. Old marketing tactics and business success stories still live true today. You know, actually, I just watched the movie Founders, and it's all about the McDonald's franchise, and I learned so much that can still be applied today. That doesn't involve an algorithm or followers or all of these things we get so obsessed with in the current moment and we think is going to happen or be our key to success. Like, when you really take a step back and start looking at, like, the evolution of business and success and marketing we need to remember that like relationship building and conversations and um you know old school strategies still work so hear me out on this 1962 um example so at the time there were two car rental companies you may have heard of them they were vying for customers at the same time so Hertz was the leader in the game at the time, and Avis, the competitor, was losing millions of dollars trying to keep up. And so it wasn't until Avis decided to launch a new advertising campaign, and they used a tagline. And so imagine back in the day, right? Like newspaper, old school marketing, advertisement, and the, the tagline said, when you're only number two, you try harder or else so when you're only number two you try harder harder or else and so this print ran alongside an image of a big fish about to swallow a smaller fish meaning that the two this was representing the two companies right so meaning that okay avis is the smaller company and it's about to be eaten by the big fish so their only option to survive is to become better, to try harder. And so the ad was a hit because they were able to explain to readers and consumers benefits of going with a small fish, okay? They embraced their weaknesses. They were able to tout things like understanding customer service. They had shorter lines and there was overall this willingness to go the extra mile. Does that make sense to you guys? So the whole parable here is that you've got to bring your value to the table. So even if you're a small fish and you don't have the biggest marketing campaign or you can't show your you know, cash stubs for the past two years, what are the things that you can tout that you can show make you a better value? If it's shorter lines because you don't have as many clients or it's um, you know, doing more one-on-one -on -one work because you're just starting out and trying to learn. So all the time people will ask me or my clients, and this is a very smart consumer question, they will ask, why do I hire you? Why should I work with you when there are tons of business coaches, tons of yoga teachers, tons of massage therapists, tons of marketing experts? You know, these are some of the people I work with, they get this question. And we work on explaining what value we bring to the table. So you should work with me because, you know, and the question then is like, well, I haven't seen you on, you know, a billboard in New York City or, you know, whatever, like other people are doing this or that. That's fine and dandy, but you've got to know what value you specifically bring to the table. And there's a few ways to do that. The first thing is you've got to know who else is out operating in your market space. I just talked to a woman today who wants to be a life coach and didn't even know about the life coach school with Britt Castillo. It's like, you got to know these things. Who else is operating in this space? Who else is doing something similar? How are they doing it? So that you can be able to speak to how you are doing it differently. Okay? So when people ask me, why should I work with you opposed to any other business coach? The first thing I say is, well, has any other business coach taken this thorough of an audit in your business? 
well, no, they usually just get on a sales call. And I say, okay, well, we just made a lot of progress in an hour and you're not even my client yet. So what can you imagine is inside? Also, I only work with a few people at a time. You don't see me having a million Instagram followers and these massive giveaways or five courses you can take because I am focused. I show up, I take on a few quality clients, I hold your hand every single day. This isn't just another cookie cutter. This isn't just another course you're going to get lost in the abyss with. Oh, that's true. So do you see how understanding your value, and even if you're a small fish, even if you're just starting out, you don't have a million Instagram followers. You know what I encourage you to say then? This is proof that you can do it too. So when I was just starting out, people would say, well, I don't really see that many testimonials or you don't have that many people in your Facebook group yet. I would say, yeah, and you don't need those things either to be successful. I'm going to teach you that all these, and this is still true, okay? All these things people are telling you about needing a massive funnel and needing a million followers just isn't true. There are so many other ways to be successful like I have, and I'm going to teach you how to do that. Oh, really? Okay, well, yeah. I want to have the lifestyle you have, or I want to be in the place that you're at. And that's so true in this day and age. Whether, you know, and this is even like for a service or for a product, we have so many options now. Okay, this is kind of embarrassing. You guys all know I was like, I am a minimalist. Okay, I'm still a minimalist, and I traveled only in my backpack for a year. So all of my like possessions were with me and they had to be able to carry them. And now we have an apartment and we have a couple of ex some extra rooms. And I, I'm gonna say her name and she's gonna probably say something back, but I have two Alexas in my apartment. Yes, hello, thank you, she's now with us. And it's so interesting because for so, such a long time, I was not their ideal client, Alexa's ideal client. I wasn't interested, I didn't care, but I knew there were a ton of models out there and a ton of people that were creating something similar. And yet, I went from someone who wasn't in the market for an Alexa to someone who now has bought two from different companies, from different vendors, from different styles. And so it just like, goes to show that there's always opportunity for you in the marketplace, no matter if you are just new starting out and you have to communicate that in a way that is unique and you understand your value and why working with you or choosing your product at a lower price point or to work one-on-one -on -one or to not get lost in a course, whatever that a unique thing that's gonna set you apart. And there are plenty of viable consumers for exactly where you're at right now. You don't need to go out and be Amazon. You don't need to go out and have a 100 Instagram followers to be successful in this day and age. What you do need to know though is to understand your value, what uniqueness you bring to the table, even if you are a small fish. It starts with market research and then it gets translated into your communications and how you help people understand how you are different. What is the value you can bring people, even if you're not well known, even if you, um, are earning millions of dollars a year, right? So think about that. What are the things that your ideal customer is looking for that other people aren't putting on the table? And start doing that. And pretty soon, you'll be the perfect size fish <laughs> that you wanna be. Um, and if you have any questions about doing this or want more feedback, always, please drop a comment. I'm here for you guys in this big abundant pond of opportunity um, when it comes to selling your products and services. We, we can reach your people. We can, uh, you know, I want to say this. It just came to mind, though, going with this fish pun, right? Like hook, line, and sinker. When you find the right people, help them understand that um, you're, the right, you're the right catch for them by explaining the value, the unique value you bring. And again, if you have any questions about this, let's chat. You can also um, direct message me if you have direct questions. I'm here and happy to help you make your dream life your real life.